Today I'm going to show you how to blur your home, a face, a car, or a license plate in Google Maps to protect your privacy. You could follow along with the written CNET article linked in the description of this video. Before I get started, make sure to like and subscribe to CNET for more how-to videos. First, go to Google Maps at maps.google.com and enter the address of the location you would like to blur. Once you've located the address, go to Street View by clicking on the image of the house or building. Now that you're in Street View, look for the Report a Problem button on the bottom right-hand side of the screen. The text is very small and will highlight when you hover over it. Click on Report a Problem and you'll be taken to the Google Maps Report Inappropriate Street View page. At the top of the page, you will see the building address and an image from Street View that you can adjust to focus or zoom in on the image you want to be blurred by Google. Below, you have options to request blurring. The options include a face, my home, my car, or a license plate, or a different object. When you make your selection, you have 1,500 characters to explain exactly what you would like blurred and to provide additional information to help Google identify the correct home, car, face, or object to be blurred. Google may follow up and ask you to provide more information to verify your request, such as your full name, your home address, and your email address. In most cases, faces and license plates are automatically blurred by Google Maps, but if for some reason your face or your license plate is not blurred, you could follow these steps to do it. Google also claims that it will automatically blur images that feature inappropriate content such as nudity and violence. You can check out Google's image acceptance and privacy policies linked in the description of this video. Below the request blurring options are two choices to report image quality for a misplaced image or misaligned navigation arrows or overall poor image quality. Once you're done making your image blur request, you must provide your email address and finish the CAPTCHA to prove that you're not a robot. Click Submit and your request will be sent to Google for approval. Now it's important to mention that blurring objects in Google Maps is permanent and cannot be undone, so you need to be 100% certain that you want to do this before you hit Submit. Well, that's how to blur your home or an object in Google Maps. If you found this video helpful, like and subscribe to CNET's YouTube channel for more how-to videos like this one, and thanks for watching.